everyone, so I decided to do this video about packing your makeup. This is definitely the time of the year when a lot of us are actually going on our trips and stuff, and trying to find a way to pack everything that you need and get it downsized can be a little bit of a difficult task, but I decided to kind of show you guys what I do, what I take, and what I find that is essential. So, this is a really, really great video for those of you who don't necessarily travel a lot that are, you know, always so used to having your entire makeup collection at your disposal, but now you're like, uh, what do I bring? What should I leave? So on and so forth. So I really hope that you guys find this video to be useful. So let's get started. The first thing is, well, what do I pack my makeup in? Um, nothing fancy, no dream case or anything like that. I actually use this makeup bag here. This is just a regular makeup bag. I actually won this on a contest, surprisingly. But it's just big enough where it's deep enough that I can kind of get everything in here. I always tell myself if I can't fit all of my makeup in here, I'm taking entirely too much. And that is kind of one of the things that you want to stick with. Stick with one bag for your makeup because if you don't, when you get there, you're going to end up losing something. So that's the first thing. First, I'm going to start on the eyes, which tends to be the focal point of most of your makeup. So, for me, when I go shopping, I like to find palettes that I can find that are very versatile, but something that I can say, ooh, if I go on a trip, I can definitely take that. One of the palettes, probably one of the most popular palettes out there, is the Urban Decay Naked Palette, which looks like this. I really like this particular palette because it comes with 12 different colors. They all range from so many different colors. Um, in a more neutral palette that you can definitely take this um, particular palette from day to night. So I really love this palette. It's probably one of the palettes that I will be traveling with for years and years and years. So you can create so many different looks and it's really, really great. Another thing that I really like about this particular palette is my palette came with a dual sided liner. Let's see if I can get it out here. A dual sided liner. This is the 24-7 Glide On Pencils. One in Whiskey, which is the brown, and the other one is in that zero color. I really like that. So that actually saves me some space because I can whoop, pop it in there. Now, if you have this particular palette and you're going to take it with you in your travels and you don't have the dual-sided thing, that's fine. Just take your favorite two liners. So I usually will just pop that in my bag. Another thing with liners is that if, or actually um, eyeshadows, is that if you notice that your palettes are too, like, one tone, as I like to say, like this one is more so neutral, kind of take it a little darker, but it's still neutral, you can take, like, a quad like this, you know, depot it, and actually put four bright colors. I would suggest bringing a pink, possibly a green, a blue, and some type of purple or something like that. And by putting it in a quad, you just have four colors that you can work with. And because that that, color, that one is such a neutral palette, you have crease colors in there, contour colors, highlight colors, so many different colors. So that's another thing that you can do is actually pop a, a little quad. Or another trick that I found is if you have like a quad, um, you can do like four eyeshadows for your lid, four for your crease, four for your, your highlight or something like that. And that actually will save you a little bit of room because these are just really, really small. But I usually will pop a quad in there with four colors that I really like. So that takes care of the eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is done. Whew! Simple and easy. So another thing um, that I'm going to move on to is actually primers. Now, I usually will take a foundation primer, one foundation primer. Um, you want to use a foundation primer that is good for your skin. Um, the one that I actually have is the Primetime Foundation. Um, primer. This is by Bare Essentials. Um, it came with my Bare Mineral stuff, but I absolutely love this. If you have like a travel size one, that's great because it's definitely going to save you some room. So I'm going to just pop this one right in here. Another thing you want to do for your eyeshadow, your eye primers. Um, because I have bought so many different Urban Decay palettes, I actually have these little ones. <laughs> these tiny, itty bitty ones. And these are great. This is going to last you couple days, even a little bit longer. This is like a month supply or so. Um, so I'm bringing one in the original and I'm bringing one in that Eden color. So I just pop those right in here as well. So the next thing, difficult thing, is probably lips. You gotta decide, do I want to stick with lipsticks? Does this lipstick just stand on its own or I need a lip gloss with it? So one of the things that I like to bring is actually just lip glosses. Lipsticks can be a little bit difficult and they're not necessarily the best in travel. 
So, um, over the Christmas break, I actually found a little 15, um, lip gloss set, um, by Tarte. And they're tiny, itty bitty little ones like this. So I really, really love these. Um, usually when I go away, depending on if I'm going for, away for like a week or like four days or something like that, I usually take about two to three color, um, colors with me, but I'm actually going to be taking four. I'm taking these four little tar, and they range in colors. One's like a really soft pink, one's more of a nude pink, one's more of a, I don't even know what you would describe that color, and this one's more of a brown tone. So I usually will pop these in there. Um, anything that has like a twist top, you want to make sure that you really t tighten it to help you out there. So I pop those in there. Another thing that I like to bring with me is a lip balm. Um, this is my EOS lip balm, um, which looks like this. This can be a little bulky for packaging. Um, if you don't have the space for it, just take like a regular one. If I can grab it. Just take like a regular one. This is just like my chapstick moisturizer. And usually you can just pop these in your purse, but um, I'm going to just pop one in here. So I'll take that with me. Another thing that I like to take is we're going to go to the face. So I usually grab one foundation. The foundation I'm taking is my Revlon Color Stud, which is this particular one. Um, like I said, anything with a twist top, you really want to give it a good twist. Make sure that it's not going to break or anything like that. Because this is glass, you might want to put like a protective covering on it if you like, but if you know that your stuff's not going to get like mumbled and jumbled and pushed around, this is fine. So I usually will pop that in there. Another thing is I set my foundation actually using my Bare Minerals, so I will pop that in there as well. Like I said, anything with a twist top, you just want to make sure that you give it a nice good twist, make sure that it's nice and I'm not going to go anywhere. The next thing is blush. What I really love about this particular blush is that they're so versatile to take with you. So the blushes that I take is actually the NYX Mosaic Powders. This one's in Love, which is more of a coral color, orange color, bronze color. And this one here is in Paradise, which is a pink color. Because of the mosaic patterns, it actually has five different colors. So by taking two of them, you're actually getting ten blush colors. Or you can just kind of use it all together to make one blush color. But I really love these because they absolutely are great. They travel really, really well. And I just pop those right on in there as well. Um, another couple of things that I like to bring with me is one, one liquid liner. I use my Urban Decay liquid liner. This is in Perversion, which is just the black one. I really, really like this one because it's just quick and easy, put it on and go. Like I said, anything with a twist top, you want to make sure that you really tighten it on there. That goes in there as well. So, a couple other things. I bring one concealer with me. This is my CoverGirl Queen Collection Concealer in Golden. I love this concealer. So, I just will pop that in there as well. A couple more items. One mascara. Simply one mascara. I'm using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. Now, if you want to bring lashes, that can get a little bit tricky. Um, I would stick with one to two pairs of lashes, depending on how long you're going to be gone, and kind of go from there, and make sure that you also pack your lash glue. But this trip, I'm not packing any lashes, I'm just going with my own. So you definitely want to pack a mascara, but if you're doing um, falsies, you want to pack one to two things of lashes, also some lash glue. And the last couple of things, um, I like to bring my Garnet Nutris, um, skin roller, or eye puff roller, <laughs> pop that in there. I love to apply this right before I put my makeup on as well as night. So this can kind of go with my, like, um, personal items or even in this makeup bag, but I'm putting it in the makeup bag. Now, if you are traveling by plane, you want to disregard these things because TSA will get you, but if you're going by car or any other method, you might want to bring, like, a pair of tweezers with you and maybe some, like, trimming scissors just in case. You never know when you might need them. I really like to bring these with me if I'm flying. I won't bring them with me, you know, just stop off at a CVS or something, pick up like one of those little travel kits, and go from there and just kind of throw it out on your way, you know, a couple of dollars, not too much. So that is the makeup. And as you can see, and this is not as organized, but I definitely have a lot more room. Now if you have a lot of room that doesn't say, oh, let me put more in there, because the more that you have in there, the more, um, the probability of you losing something or leaving something. So that's all the makeup that I'm going to bring. Now the last part
part, which I probably find is the most difficult, is actually your brushes. Now, a couple of things. Um, you want to definitely keep the number of brushes down. You don't want to bring 10, 12, 15 brushes. If you have like um, one of the Sigma Travel brushes, I would actually prefer that to bring rather than anything else. But because I don't have that, I have to show you what I have about six brushes. So um, the brushes that I bring, the first one is just a large shader brush, something to put quickly over the eye, some color, and keep going. Next one would be a crease brush. This is my Sigma E25, just to kind of put some color in the crease and go. Next one, this is my um, Sigma, the old SS224, I don't know what the new numbering is, just to kind of blend out everything, keep it moving. I also like to bring, and you don't have to bring this one, this is my pencil brush, which is the old SS219 from Sigma. I like this one because you can get it right in the crease, but also this is great for underneath the eye, just saving you a little bit of room. And I also like to bring my E50, just a big brush to put um, your highlight on. So those would be my eye brushes. For my brows, I will bring a liner brush, just to kind of fill those in, and a brow color. I actually forgot to put that in there, but one brow color. Pop that in. And the only face brush that I bring with me is actually my F20, which is a large powder brush. And I'll just put this with setting my powder. Now you're like, ah, well, what do you do with your foundation? A couple things that I do with my foundation and my blush is I actually bring my beauty blender. This is my beauty blender. Um, this is um, what it looks like wet and compared to dry. So I actually just use this one. But my beauty blender, I'll just pop it in there with my brush my brushes because you can actually use this with your liquid foundation and I can also use it with my concealer and I can also use it with my blush. So this is actually taking the roll about three to four brushes and making it into one. So I usually will just pop this right in the bag or something like that and keep it going. So how do you transfer your brushes? Of course you want to use a brush roll. Um, I'm using my Sigma brush roll but because I'm saving, I'm not, it's not a full set, I'm actually saving some room. So what you do is if you only have a limited amount of brushes like I do, you want to put them towards the middle of your brush roll, okay? Flip the top down to protect it. And then you want to kind of wrap it as small as you can. This is just going to help save a little more room. I'm going to snap that in there and then pull these this way. So, ta-da, all of my brushes are in there. Now, if you have, like, the Sigma, I forgot what they're called, but the ones that come in, like, the canister, those would be great to bring because you also have a place to hold your brushes as well. Um, and then I usually, if this is small enough, I'll take this and pop it right in my bag. So this actually will hold all of my makeup plus the brushes right in there and zip it up. And ta-da! That's it. This is all of my makeup that I will be bringing with me when I travel. It's not a lot. It's the essentials. You know, eyeshadow, primers, foundation, liners, the whole lot. But I took what I had in my collection and I downsized it for a couple of days. So I hope that this helps you guys out a lot. I know that's a lot of information going on there, but other than that, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.